Do you want to look classy and refined, but don't want to dress like old uncles? Well then, the preppy aesthetic might be for you. Think of the preppy aesthetic as the younger brother of the old money aesthetic. The preppy look actually goes back years, if not centuries, and it was popularized by kids who actually went to study classics rather than learn a trade. This aesthetic actually originated from the rowing clubs of 19th century England, where the oarsmen wore bright colored jackets in order to be visible by the crowds on the riverbanks. Later, the same rowers or even other sportsmen would wear these jackets while attending social functions. The blazers or jackets were often striped to set them apart from other clubs. Slowly, by the 1950s, this aesthetic spread across the Ivy League colleges. This aesthetic symbolizes knowledge, athleticism, and refined morals. So in a way, the preppy aesthetic evolved from the old money aesthetic. And with the recent rise of the old money aesthetic, this is an aesthetic you can opt for if you want something similar but still want to have fun with colors and logos, unlike the old money or quiet luxury aesthetic. So in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to pull off the preppy style aesthetic that reeks of nonchalance, fun, and old money as well. The key is to keep it simple while having fun. So if you're a dude that likes to look like you came straight from the fashion runway, this is not the aesthetic for you. I mean, if you look at true prep clothing, like polo shirts and varsity sweaters, those items have basically stayed the same for centuries. Simple and minimal. Now before we move on, let's get one thing straight. The preppy aesthetic is not an old money aesthetic, though they are both similar. It is not the same as the old money aesthetic. To achieve the preppy look, you mostly have to look clean, neat, and conservative, kind of like Ivy League students do. But the old money look is all about simple colors, minimal to no logos, and keeping it quiet. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about prep colors. You don't necessarily have to stick to certain colors to achieve the look, but there are colors that are elegant and classic and most associated with the preppy look. The good thing about prep is that it's the perfect balance of neutral colors and bright colors. With the neutrals, you want to keep it sophisticated and somber. It's better not to go overboard with it and keep the color palette as neutral as possible. But if you want to create a bit of buzz, you can still wear contrasting neutral colors to give it more of a modern vibe. For instance, you can pair a navy blue sweater with beige pants. So for a neutral preppy color palette, you can go with beige, navy blue, white, black, and gray. But if the neutral color palette is not your vibe, don't worry. You can also go for a pop of color to achieve the preppy aesthetic. You can play with colors like sunny yellows, military reds, rich greens, and believe it or not, pink. But the trick is to be gentle when pairing these colors. I mean, you shouldn't be afraid to play with colors, but you don't want to look like a circus clown either. That's not preppy. Now, like I said before, the preppy look is very specific. That means that there are certain clothing items that are must-haves if you want to develop that preppy aesthetic. A classic button-down shirt. Probably the most basic clothing item you'll need to cop that preppy aesthetic. The button-down shirt. It's so versatile. You can roll up the sleeves and pair it with straight tailored pants for a simple look or under a sweater, vest, or a varsity jacket for a more layered look. Now, the most important thing that will help you pull off styling a button-down shirt is the fit and the quality of the shirt. You don't want a good-looking shirt that fits horribly on you. To land the best fit, pay attention to the shoulders and make sure they sit perfectly on yours. Try to go for something that is breezy and light and doesn't look too rough and heavy. You can go for the classic white shirt, or you can opt for the madras print or striped shirts. Varsity jackets. A varsity jacket is something that's timeless. It's never gone out of style and probably never will. And that varsity jacket is also an iconic staple of the preppy look. You can literally pull off the preppy aesthetic without owning one of these. But not just any varsity jacket will do. You have to opt for the letterman jackets. Basically, varsity jackets that either have a letter on them or subtle logos or ideally logos of Ivy League colleges. And I know some of y'all are going to leave comments like, oh, so pretend to be something we're not by wearing Ivy League jackets? No, you don't have to attend these colleges to wear the jackets. It's just about the aesthetic and how this style has evolved over the years. Like there are many celebs and influencers who pull off this aesthetic and probably most of them, if not all of them, have never attended an Ivy League college. And one of the most famous public figures that used to pull this look off very nicely was the legendary Princess Diana. Quarter zip polos and rugby shirts. Just like the varsity jacket, polo shirts are the basis of the preppy look. Trust me, polo shirts were preppy long before Ralph Lauren decided to embroider his shirts with polo players. You can style your polo for a sporty casual vibe and a high-end luxury look in one night. And if you don't want regular polos, I would highly recommend you go for the quarter zip polos. They're much more modern. 
Rugby shirts are also an important preppy outfit that will never go out of style. The rugby shirt is the perfect mixture of collegiate sports style and the casual off-duty look. Opt for ones that have color-blocked panels that contrast their white collar. Tennis sweaters. Tennis has a culture of its own, with its own rules, aesthetics, and nomenclature. And tennis sweaters have been a part of this aesthetic from the days of country and rowing clubs. Try to opt for tennis sweaters with a v-neck and cable knit. And honestly, there are just so many easy ways you can style a tennis sweater to level up your game, from wearing it with a blazer, a button-down shirt, and even shorts. Tweed jackets. Nothing says preppy like a good old tweed jacket. Tweed jackets bring a lot of vintage sophistication to your look. And for the ultimate preppy look, you can pair it with a button-down, sweater vest, flannel or corduroy pants, and penny loafers. You can even pair it with ties to give it more of a collegiate look. Preppy pants. So far we spent a lot of time talking about all the options to cover your upper body. There aren't as many options when talking about bottoms, but they're all pretty versatile. You can get them at different price points, and they're easy to find at your preferred brand. Chinos. Chinos are an essential piece to the preppy look. Chinos can make any outfit look preppy. Chinos pair perfectly with any other clothing item on this list. But when it comes to shoes, loafers will still look the best with a roll-up, straight-cut chinos. Straight tailored pants. Now if you're not a fan of chinos, any straight tailored pants will do. And if you can't afford straight tailored pants, you can either thrift it or have your tailor make one for you. It'll be affordable, and you'll be able to get the perfect fit because it'll literally be tailor-made for you. Corduroy. Corduroy fits right into this aesthetic. You can opt for two-piece corduroy suits, and you can even pair a corduroy pant with a button-down, crew neck sweater, or polo shirt for a relaxed, tailored vibe. Preppy shoes. Shoes are very important in achieving a preppy aesthetic, and it's important to know the right shoes to wear with certain outfits and to certain places. Preppy shoes are your basic loafers, oxfords, dress shoes, and white sneakers. The sneakers and loafers are for a casual look, while the oxfords and dress shoes are for a more formal, preppy look. Preppy accessories. To achieve that perfect preppy look, you must always accessorize. You need to add caps, sunglasses, opt for the round frame as it gives you more of the collegiate vibe, signet rings, and sometimes even scarves to complete your preppy vibe. Preppy aesthetic is all about looking refined, so your hair and grooming need to tie in to make the whole look come together. Classic haircuts, like messy fringe and curtain styles for normal hair and Caesar cut and curls with fade for black hair is the way to go. You should always keep your beard well trimmed and maintained. Trust me, you don't want a full beard for the preppy aesthetic. Make sure to keep your beard at a minimal goatee or a stubble. The preppy aesthetic is not just about what you wear, it's also about what you shouldn't wear. If you want to develop a preppy aesthetic, avoid jeans, bulky shoes, and heavy chains at all costs. There's nothing preppy about those items. Let me know in the comments below when you try out these preppy looks and what topic I should cover next. I'll see you in my next video.